Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a mini Charmander statue. This will go very well with your mini Bulbasaur, your mini Pikachu, and eventually your mini Squirtle statue. If you do like this video, please guys, could you give it a like? I'd really appreciate it. It might make me feel a little bit better because I don't know about you, but I cannot find any of these guys in Pokemon Go. All I have is Charmander, which is my starter Pokemon. If I didn't get him as a starter, I don't think I'd even find him. So a like could really make me feel better. Comment down below, is there anything else that you'd like to see leave me a suggestion what you'd like me to build next it doesn't have to be pokemon related anything will do anything you want to see also check out the card system check out the description below for my pokemon builds playlist not only will it have each one of these statues in there but it will also have links to all of my pokemon builds and there have been loads of them there are well over 30 videos in that playlist i'm sure that you'll find something that you guys would really enjoy but that is more than enough talking why don't we make charmander so if you want to make charmander here's what you're going to need grab yourself some sandstone some quartz slabs grab orange wool lime wool white wool red wool yellow wool and finally grab yourself some dark gray wool and those are the only materials that we're going to be needing so once you have each one of those and once you've figured out where you want to make him i'm going to be making him next to bulbasaur who's next to pikachu who is next to both of my pokeball houses plus there's a pikachu house over there in the distance you can find all of those in the pokemon builds playlist well once you've figured out where you want to make him you're going to want to kick off charmander with a row of four orange wool coming directly up from the ground that's one two three and four then going right do a sandstone then going up do two sandstone one two then do two orange going up that's one two then go right by two one two then go down by one then go down from that orange block by four with your sandstone that's one two three four do a bottom left diagonal followed by an up left diagonal then fill the center of the shape that you have in with sandstone block. Once you have that, what you then want to do is on the right hand side here, where we have this sandstone, opposite the sandstone that is touching this orange wall, we want to place an orange wall here on the right hand side as well, and we want to connect it down to the ground. Plus, what we can also do is take each one of the blocks touching the ground, the orange ones, and we can place a quartz slab in front of them. We can then come behind what we've made and we want to take these rows of four orange and we want to take the top two blocks and extend them back by one with the orange. That's one and one and one and one. Like that. What we then want to do is we want to take this shape that we have here, this center shape, and we want to add two layers of orange directly behind this. So we just want to take this shape that we have right here, we want to copy it, and we just want to do two layers of orange wall coming directly out of the back of it. Like that. That's the majority of, Char of Charmander's body. What we then want to do, on the very back of Charmander, just above this bottom center block, this is the bottom center block, we want to, above this, we want to place two orange wall coming up out of this block, that's one, two. We then, taking a sideways view, want to go left of this second block by one. We then want to go up one, left one, up one. We then want to do an up left diagonal with the red wall, and then we want to place a red wall going right of that diagonal and below it. We then, with the yellow wall, want to, from that first diagonal, do an up left diagonal with your yellow. And then we want to place a yellow above that diagonal, right of the diagonal, left of the diagonal, down from that diagonal. We then want to take these two diagonals and we want to extend them outwards, each by their colour. So, like, out from the left here, like, one with the yellow and one with the red, the two diagonals. And the opposite side as well, so the center block, one with the red and one with the yellow. Once you've done that, you've done most of the structure of Charmander's tail. But what we do want to do is we want to add some gray wool, kind of around the flame of the tail. We don't want to add too much, maybe maybe like three dark gray walls in total. And what these are, it's kind of like, it's, it's just kind of like the smoke or like the ashes of the ember from the tail. It's just kind of like a cool particle effect to add. It's not necessary in the slightest, but it does kind of look cool. And if you just kind of like space them out, and if you only have like three or maybe even four of them, it does look quite cool. So if you just add them like randomly around the tail as far or as close as you want to the tail, it, it's just a cool thing to add. Well, once you've added that for yourself, you now want to come to the side of Charmander. 
you want to take out your orange wall. And you want to, can you see, like on the left hand side of the here, you want to take this top center block on the left hand side. You want to move down from it by one. You want to do two orange coming down, that's one and two. You then want to come out in front of the statue by two, one, two, and then do a quartz slab on the upper half of that. That's one of his arms. Let's do the other one. On the opposite side, we're on the top center row again. We want to move down by one, place two orange going down, that's one and two. We then want to come out in front by two, one, two. Then place a quartz slab. And there you have Charmander's arms. We then, coming up to the top of the statue at the front, you want to, from this top front left hand corner block, want to do an up left diagonal. You then want to go up on top of that diagonal by four. That's one, two, three, four. Then do an upright diagonal. Go right by two, do a bottom right diagonal, and go down until you connect down to the base of the head. Once you've got that taken care of, what you now want to do in front of this, oh and by the way, when you connect down to the base of the head, go left and connect the two bottom locks together like this. This is important because the row that you've just formed by connecting the two bottom locks together, you now want to extend outwards by one row, like that. You then want to add another row on top of that row of three and extend it left and right by one. One and one. So we now have a row of five. Now on this row of five, for the next two rows going from left to right on top of it, you want to do one white wall, one line, one orange, one line wall, one white. And you want to do that for two rows, remember. So once you've done that to one row, do the same thing just above it. You then want to take these three middle blocks from the line to line and you want to stack a row of three orange on top of them. Then take this very top center orange block and place an orange on top of it. And there you have Charmander's face. Kind of. What we now want to do is, can you see this orange block between the center of the eyes? You want to extend an orange out in front of this. You then want to go down with the, with the orange, left one and right one. You want to place a quartz slab underneath the left and right hand orange and there you have Charmander's cute little face. Isn't that adorable? Well, once you've got that taken care of, you now want to come behind Charmander's head. And you want to take the shape of Charmander's head and extend it backwards by two layers of orange. So this will be one layer of orange that we're doing right here. It doesn't take too long. And then this will be two layers of orange. And once again, it doesn't take very long to get these layers of orange taken care of. Then the next layer that we want to do, we want to do a rectangular shape of orange outwards from the back of the head that just kind of like fills the empty space right there. Plus, we want to take the very bottom row here of the shape that we've just made and we want to extend it down by one row like that. Perfect. And that is the back of Charmander's head. Very, very simple. And that, in essence, is your Charmander statue. Very cute, very easy to make absolutely adorable goes very well with the previous statues goes very well with your Bulbasaur and your Pikachu as well if you enjoyed this video please give it a like I'd really appreciate it this little series of mini statues is almost coming to an end we just have Squirtle and in the intro I noticed that I have to give Squirtle a tail yet yeah, I almost missed that wouldn't that be embarrassing if I built Squirtle without his tail I don't think I'd be able to live that down you guys would be going mental so if you did like this video please give it a like comment down below what else should I make next I probably won't be making any more mini Pokemon statues unless like something significant comes out in the game like maybe like Mew or Mewtwo comes out for Pokemon Go otherwise I probably won't bother making any any or maybe I'll make the legendary birds when they come out who knows but check out the card system check out the description below I'd love to hear what you guys think by the way in the comment section as well don't just uh, you don't just have to suggest Pokemon of course you can suggest anything check out the card system and the description below for all of my other previous Pokemon builds you'll find my Pokemon builds playlist in there thank you guys thank you very much for watching I'll see you in the next video I realize that I said that like three times in a row sorry mm -hmm.